From pre-workouts to good old trusty coffee, people have been using caffeine to wake themselves up for a morning or even later workout. At the very least, we can say it helps us face the day. But have you ever wondered if caffeine was actually helping you perform your workouts? Does caffeine improve your ability to build muscle quickly, for example? Well, I'd like to answer that for you by investigating a study that aimed to answer that very question. The researchers of the study were examining recruited 14 participants, all young men with moderate training experience, meaning they'd been lifting weights for one year. They were also moderate caffeine consumers, so this isn't a new exposure for them. Uh, the researchers had them come into the lab and perform one repetition maximum on the bench press and the leg press. So a one repetition maximum or a one rep max is simply as it sounds. You try to lift progressively heavier weights for one repetition until you find a weight that you can barely lift with good form. So it offers a benchmark by which to scale the future tests because the researchers set that one rep max as the 100% mark. So let's say you lifted 100 kilograms for your one rep max. The researchers then took the 80% weight of that, so 80 kilograms, and had the participants lift that weight until they could no longer lift it, called failure. That's the measurement. How many repetitions can the participants lift at 80% of their respective one repetition maximum, with and without caffeine? But before we get to the results, here's a mid-video ad for my muscle building pills that will pack on five kilos of muscle in six minutes. Just kidding. But there is one more thing. The researchers had the participants abstain from caffeine for 24 hours prior to the measurement. I'll let you know the caffeine dose they used in a minute because it's going to be important later. Okay, so here we're looking at the data across three attempts to lift to failure, meaning three sets of some number of repetitions until the participants couldn't lift the weight anymore. In the bench press, they managed between 10 and 15 repetitions for their first set or first attempt. And naturally, as their muscles became more worn down, the second and third sets yielded lower repetitions. That's no surprise unless you're a non-sentient terminator. However, in the caffeine-consuming group, they were able to eke out an extra rep or two, implying a benefit of caffeine. If we look at the totality of the repetitions accomplished, meaning the combined reps finished across all three sets, there's a clear effect of caffeine. Now, the same was also true for the lower body, the leg press test. However, I'd like to point out that the effect only occurs in the first set, not in the other two. So caffeine helps in the initial lift, but not in the later lifts. Still, in the end, the more repetitions lifted across a workout means more volume accomplished. And since these individuals were training to failure, their intensity or the difficulty of the exercise was definitely high enough. All of that combines, so volume plus intensity, to mean that caffeine increases the potential for muscle growth through increased volume at an adequate intensity. Now, how much caffeine did they have to get this effect? Pretty high amounts. I realize you might scoff at that because your blood may mo almost literally be coffee, but five milligrams per kilogram of weight is a sizable amount. If you weigh 80 kilograms, that's 400 milligrams of caffeine. Overall, caffeine at five milligrams per kilogram increases the amount of times that we can lift weights on our initial sets of exercise, leading to more overall work accomplished and greater muscle signals to grow. Yet, you might be wondering if less would also be effective. You also might be interested to know if your family history, meaning your genetic makeup, can influence if caffeine truly benefits you in your performance. If you want answers to both of those queries, I'd highly recommend the next video in the series where I'll answer both of those for you. So speak to you then, bye.